So let me just go one more slide. What are ceramics? What are ceramics? A lot of words, but uh, I'm just going through them one by one. The first one is given by, look at the website, Wikipedia, <laughs> the source of knowledge nowadays. Okay, it says, a ceramic, a ceramic, a single form, a ceramic is a, what types of material? Inorganic. What types? Metal or non-metal? Non-metallic. Solid or liquid? Solid. Keep this in mind. Inorganic, non-metallic, solid, material compromising metal, non-metal, or metalloid element. Primarily held in what type of bonding? Ionic or covalent or mixture? Not metallic bonding. Not, uh, well, not exact um, secondary bonding. Okay, that's what we said about ceramics. And then let's look at another definition from Kingery. That's kind of one of the godfather of ceramic field from MIT. He wrote a very sick book for introduction to ceramics. Anyone working in ceramics probably at least heard of his book. May not read it in detail, but at least heard of it. When what did he say? We define ceramics as the art of science of making and using, again, solid, Okay, articles which have the essential components and are composed in large part of inorganic, non-metallic material. Make sense? What are organic material? Let me ask you. Well, typical polymer material, typical hydrocarbon, those material. But ceramic are not dealing with those. Make sense? that contains a lot of carbon and a lot of hydrogen. Ceramic are not dealing with them. Ceramic are also not dealing with what? Non-metallic. Not dealing with something that is metallic shining, highly what? Electrically conducting, highly thermal conducting, and what? Flexible, malleable. Ceramic is not dealing with those two materials, okay? And then according to Dr. Rahman, similar, he said chemically, with the exception of carbon, he, he singled one material. I kind of disagree with him a little bit, but uh, okay. Generally, they are still non-metallic, inorganic. He put one more word, compound. Okay, in his view, ceramic, mostly speaking, we are talking about compound, which means they, most of them are not single element. What is a single element? Carbon, right? All carbon has how many forms? Oh, I wouldn't say how many, but what are the typical forms? Graphite, one. The other one is diamond. Is graphite a metal? No, because it's not what? Yeah, it, it's not ductile. Graphite, you easily break it, right? Brittle quite often. If graphite breaks, graphite, if you ever handle graphite, you say, Dr. Chen, I have graphite wire, but that's because it's a wire. Make sense? It doesn't plastically deform. So graphite is not. What about diamond? Not even conducting, right? And what? Flexible or non flexible? Brittle? Ductile. Brittle, right? Diamond. So clearly, Carbon is not a typical metal. And is carbon a typical organic material? Carbon, organic? No, remember organic material is carbon, but also quite often hydrogen, oxygen. Carbon, pure carbon is not. So broadly speaking, we can also classify carbon as a ceramic material. Make sense? Okay. Then according to Balsam, I don't know whether you heard of his name, Balsam is another big name faculty in ceramics. He got uh, the max phase material, very important material from Draxel. And he also said in his book, solid compounds that are formed by application of heat, sometimes heat and pressure, 
comprising at least the two elements he's talking about compounds. One of them is non-metal, non-metallic solid. The other metal could be metal or another non-metallic. But anyway, the last one, Callister, who wrote the engineering material course. Ceramics are compounds between metallic and non-metallic material. But anyway, in summary, what you learned is they are mostly pure element or compound. Mostly compound, but can include some pure element, like carbon, like silicon. You, when you think of silicon, any of you ever handled pure silicon? Silicon wafer, what does it feel like? Brittle, right? completely brittle, not like typical metal at all, okay? And uh, compounds, mostly compounds, but occasionally can be element. Non-metallic, non-organic, also called inorganic material. That's what we're gonna do, deal with in this class called ceramic material, which are very, very broad, okay? We're gonna stop here and see you on